Hey folks, I'm Chuck Black. We're doing 52 weeks of Python in 10 minute or less sessions. And so in this week, what we're gonna talk about is modeling device information using a dictionary in Python. In fact, not only are we gonna talk about doing a dictionary, we're gonna talk about different ways to print it. We're gonna talk about using pretty print, which requires us to import that function. And then we're gonna look even at a for loop and in the side, the for loop, inside our print statement, we are gonna be using what are called F strings. So let's get started. So in our last lesson, we talked about certain simple data types like strings. You'll see this is a string here. There's also data types, which would be integers uh, or Boolean. You can see because of these quotes, every one of these things here happens to be a string. Now a higher order data type is something like a dictionary or a list or a set or a tuple. We're gonna talk about dictionaries now. We have to declare that this device variable is a dictionary by doing something like this. I use the rounded brackets or parentheses as we call them over here. And that tells Python that this is a dictionary. A dictionary is what is formally called an associative array, but just ignore that and just think of the word dictionary. It's called a map in other languages, the idea is that you have a key associated with a particular value. So when I say the key name for dictionary, what is its value? Once I've executed this line of code, then its value will be the thing that you see here. And so for device, I've defined a number of keys. The first one is the string name. The second one is the string vendor, the string model, etc. All of these are like attributes of a device and I am just uh, assigning them on the fly. That's how you create new entries in your dictionary is you just define them right on the fly as I'm doing here. So when I reference device uh, square bracket quotes IP, I'm referring to the key IP for device, the actual value that I'll be getting is this value right here. So that in a nutshell is a dictionary. There's different ways to define dictionaries. This is one of the main approved ones. So at this point, this code has defined all of these fields in our dictionary. What does it actually look like? Well, here's a print statement. I'm gonna print it out with the string device colon and then the actual device. If I look down here, I've already actually run this. This is the output. So when it's printing device up here, this is what it prints out. So let's look at this and understand it so that it doesn't look like hieroglyphics to you. Now, when you see curly braces and then you see something on the left, like we see right here, and something on the right, like we see right here with a colon in between, this is gonna indicate that this data right here is a dictionary. The whole thing, of course, is a dictionary. The first item in the dictionary is this one right here. The key is name and the value is this. And remember, this is exactly what we did. We set the value of SBX, et cetera, equal to device with the key of name. Same thing, vendor Cisco is there. They're separated by commas when it prints them out. When you see data printed out, this is what your dictionary is gonna look like. When you see curly braces printed out, that is what you're going to see. Okay, I wanna make a distinction really quick. When I reference something from a dictionary, like in this situation, I'm referencing just the name, we always use square brackets when we're referencing either a key or a subscript. So if this was an array or a list, then we would have a number like zero or one. And because this is a dictionary, the value inside is going to be the string and notice it's in quotes, name. And so this is how I reference a key in my dictionary. And the result will be, it will print out the actual value that's associated with it. When I look down here, device name, that's what I printed right there. And then the value is the value that I set it to. That's this one right there. So this is how we reference specific items in a dictionary. And this is what it looks like when it gets printed out with the curly braces and a key on the left of the colon and a, a value on the right. So I think you'll agree that this isn't terribly readable or pretty. What if I wanted to print it in a pretty manner? Well, the good news is, we can do that. We can use this function called pprint, which I need to import. If something is not part of the default Python library, 
then I need to import it. So I'm going to say from, from pprint, import pprint, and that means that I can use pprint. And when I do use pprint, look at how much nicer this looks. This is my pretty print output. So again, curly braces are identifying that this is a dictionary. Key on the left, value on the right. Notice it's not in any particular order. That's the way uh, normal dictionaries work in Python. So pretty print, got to import it up here and then I can use it to print out data. Well, that was nice, but what if I want to print it even nicer? For example, look at this down here that I've highlighted. Uh, look at how cool this looks. I've got right justification. I've gone through these things one at a time. How might I do that? Well, I'm going to introduce you to two things really quickly. Number one, a for loop, which you see right here. We're going to talk about for loops till they're coming out your kazoo. So uh, don't worry if you don't get this 100%, but we're doing a for loop, which means we're going to iterate through all the items in device. And then we're going to print this out using what's called an F string. So let's go through this. This for loop says, for, I'm going to go through this thing. This is my device. You'll see PyCharm has nicely highlighted it so I can see what it is. And if I say device.items, what that's going to do is it's going to run this loop over and over and over again once for every one of the items in my dictionary. You see I have all of these items in the dictionary. It's going to do this one line of code over and over and over again. And every time it goes through, key will be set to the key for that dictionary item and value will be set to the value item value for that dictionary item. So hopefully that makes sense in a general way. I'm going to print the key and the value. And if I just generally look here, I see key and value, key and value. So it's done this, what is that? Six times this loop has gone through or iterated six times because it went through it once for every item in the loop. Now, what about this F string? An F string is a relatively new inclusion to Python. And what it says is you can include both the actual data in my situation, here's like the actual string. You can see that's this part right here, but to the left of it in curly braces, this has nothing to do with dictionariness. It's just the, there's only so many special characters that we can use in curly braces is a, the variable. So the variable here, I'm just printing out the value. So you see on the right, it's just printing out the value. No big deal there. Nothing to see. We can move on and look at the funky thing over on the left. Well, you can see PyCharm has done a good job of keeping in white my actual variable name. That's my key. So that's going to be this thing. But look, I've given this special formatting instructions to it. Uh, what do you suppose a greater than size sign means? Well, if you pause it and think about it and come back, probably means right justify. And sure enough, it's right justifying it. What about 16s? Well, it's saying I want you to provide 16 characters to print this. So if you were to count from here to here uh, to right there, that would be 16 characters. And so it's going to use 16 characters. And then we do the colon. This is just strict string. And then we do the value. That's what that's doing. This is a for loop. And this is an F string. And again, if you want more information about that, you can look at the longer description in the complimentary, uh, whatever this is, week number three that is also available in the other playlist. Well, that was pretty fun. We learned about dictionaries. We learned about printing stuff and how you reference items in dictionary. We learned about using pretty print and we learned about a for loop. Wow and this F string thing, all pretty cool stuff. Now remember, you're not gonna learn this unless you write it yourself. So write this code yourself in PyCharm or whatever IDE or wherever you choose to write it and run it and see that it works. That is how you'll learn it. Thank you so much for listening.